What's up guys, it is Dr. Seth, and today we are going over deadlift setup because if your deadlift setup sucks, your deadlift is going to suck along with it. Now, big caveat to this video is that I am built like a meatball and I can't demo a deadlift setup like I would coach someone with longer limbs. So I'm gonna make this video specific to meatball build lifters, and I'll probably redo this at some point with the help of Darrell and his very lanky limbs and levers. But before we get into it, we gotta think about the big difference between a deadlift versus a squat and the bench press. And the big difference between a deadlift is that the bar starts from the bottom. We don't have an eccentric to load us into the bottom position. So on a deadlift, it becomes so much more important to create tension prior to starting the lift. Now we can do that as we're going to the bar, and then we can do that again once we're on the bar and use the bar as weight to enhance the amount of tension that we have. And I'm gonna to refer to going down to the bar as a top-down setup because we're getting set and getting locked into the top then trying to carry that set down into the bottom. I'm gonna pull my slippers off so I'm not pulling from a one-inch deficit because nobody wants to do that. But once we're on the bar, what we gotta think about is number one, stance width, Number two, how far we are from the bar. Now, I'm not gonna get into specifics on stance width because that's gonna be so variant on individual anatomy, but if you need a start point, need a reference point, just jump, see where you land. That's gonna be good enough to start from if you have no clue and you can tweak it from there. Number two is gonna be where the bar is situated from our foot and how far away from the bar are we? I found that for bigger lifters, for thicker lifters, it helps to be further away from the bar because if we're further away from the bar, that can let us push our knees further forward on the setup. If our knees are further forward, we can get ourselves lower and make up a little bit of ground that we would be losing because of our short arms. That's also gonna help us get more quad into the initial part of the pull. And again, for shorter limb lifters, that can be very beneficial. If you're a long limb guy, this might not be for you, but you could experiment with it if you are interested. Now, to actually going down to the bar, the first thing I wanna do is I want to squeeze my glutes, I wanna squeeze my quads, I wanna set my brace, I wanna get everything here locked in, I'm then going to drop my arms down, trying to reach as far down as I can, because that's gonna set me up to have longer arms when I'm initiating the pull. We don't wanna be all shrugged up, we don't wanna be all pulled back, because if you're shrugged up and pulled back, you're not gonna be able to maintain that during a heavy deadlift anyways. And short arms, it's gonna make your leverage just worse and it's gonna make everything shittier. So do not do that. Do not do that. If I catch you doing that, I will yell at you. So please don't make me yell at you. Anyways, once we're here, once we're situated, once everything is set, everything's locked in, all I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by pulling with my abs, pulling with my hip flexors, pulling with my hamstrings, pulling with my tibialis anterior into all of that quad and glute tension. And that active pulling is going to help me maintain tension through my brace, maintain tension through my hips, maintain tension to my quads as I'm going to the bar. We don't wanna just bend over to the bar because if we just bend over to the bar and we have short limbs, we are gonna be screwed because we're gonna lose all the tension we had and we're gonna to have to try to recover that. And it's gonna be very difficult to recover that once we're already bent over. One other thing that I do because of my levers is I'll actually let my heels come up as I'm going to the bar because it lets me get to the bar with more tension because I have to be less compressed in order to get there. Once I'm on the bar, I'm gonna pull up into it, pushing through the floor. That's going to help me drop my heels down and it's gonna make sure that the push through the floor is going to enhance the tension I'm creating because the harder I push through the floor, the more tension is in the bar, the more tension is in my body, the more muscular tension I can create. Once I'm here, I'm going to push up harder and harder and harder, trying to get my head as far away from my hands as possible. I'm going to try to load into my hamstrings, and then I'm going to flex my lats and try to pull myself towards the bar. I'm thinking about trying to push myself to the bar with my hips and hamstrings. I'm thinking about trying to pull myself with my lats, and then I'm going to drop down and yank into that initial wedge. Now, if you aren't built like me, you could be more fluid with your wedge, but because I'm a meatball, I kind of got to muscle fuck the sucker if I want to be in any position that I'm capable of pulling from. So you'll see me do multiple wedges to get set. I'll have one pump, two pump, three pump, pull. And with each pump, what I'm trying to do is build more tension, build more tension, get that bar higher, get that bar higher, get myself shoved further in, because the further I'm shoved into it, the more tension that I have, the better position I will be in to pull. Now, when the bar is light, the plates are going to pop off. Once we get real weight on the bar, that is going to be my slack pull. Out of breath here. Give me a second. And as I'm pumping into the bar, 
the one thing that I do not want to do is lose tension in my quads. My quads are on the entire time. The balls of my feet are being pushed in the floor hard. And then I'm using my hips to shove myself into the quads from the backside. I'm using my lats to pull myself into the quads from my front side. And once that bar floats, once that bar pops up to that position that I want to pull from, then I just put on the gas pedal with the quads, add that to the hips, add that to the lats. The bar is going to blast up to the top and we can carry that contraction all the way up to lockout. And no matter your levers, no matter your limb lengths, no matter how you like to pull, the big, big, big thing that you need to be able to do with your deadlift setup is get yourself into as favorable as position as possible with as much tension as possible already there so that you can use that tension to then drive your pull. So guys, give this a shot if you're a stubby limb lifter like me, or wait until I drop a video with the rail demoing this for a longer limbed guy. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate the heck of you and have a good rest of your night.